The women first and an event in which the meeting record has stood since the very first Golden Gala way back in 1980. Vera Komisova, 12.39. It takes them to beat that this evening, but we have got an inform athlete in Camacho Quinn who goes in lane five. Let's take you through the lineup. Pedria Seymour from the Bahamas, the first of two Bahamians, six of the Olympic Games in a national record. A compatriot, Devin Charlton. National record holder for the Bahamas goes into 12.61. She ran in Walnut, California last month. There is the reigning European champion, Elvira Herman from Belarus, goes in lane three, sub-13 in the last two races. Megan Tapper, former Jamaican champion, Pan Am Games bronze medalist, goes in lane four. Now then, Jasmine Camacho Quinn from Puerto Rico, a stunning, 12.32, personal best, national record, world lead, the whole shooting match in April. It's the seventh fastest time of all time. She goes in lane five. Luminoso Boliolo, listen to the reception for the Italian. World Student Games champion. Finished third in Gateshead in the rain. In lane seven from Poland, Pia Czerzhoszowska. Ran 12.80 in Hengelo last weekend. And in lane eight, completing the lineup, Elisa Maria Di Lazzaro from Italy, two time national champion. But this, on paper at least, all about Yasmin Camacho Quinn in lane five from Puerto Rico, dual nationality. Fastest time in the world this year, held by Camacho Quinn, 12.32. meeting record to remind you set way back in 1980 Vera Komisova from the former Soviet Union so Herman in three Tapper in four Camacho Quinn in five women's 100 meters hurdles Straight out of the blocks from uh, Camacho Quinn, also going well is uh, Megan Tapper. Coming nicely is Charlton on the inside, but Camacho Quinn, we've lost Simiskova, but uh, Camacho Quinn coming through. 12.38, that meeting record has gone, would you believe it? It's stood since 1980, Vera Kamisova at 12.39, and Camacho Quinn after that 12.32 in April at the Tom Jones Invitational in Gainesville, Florida, has beaten one of the longest records in the Golden Gala history. And what a performance. She now has four of the fastest five times in 2021. And as we mentioned, with seven weeks to go, Steve, until the Tokyo Olympics, well, the likes of, uh, well, the American sprinters will have to, high hurdles will have to take some, some notice of Camacho Quinn. Yeah, that's her second best performance ever. And just watch this. I mean, it's a good start. Um, alongside uh, uh, Herman got over, sorry, uh, excuse me, uh, Tapper got over very, very quickly, as you mentioned. It's almost as though she's running downhill from here. Over the, those last two flights, she picks up, takes the momentum. Just watch this. I mean, she's hurdling beautifully, not hitting the hurdles, not even touching them. But those last two flights, the speed, she's not slowing down. And most people are trying to maintain at this point in the race. And, and it would be great to see, you know, some stats on, on what's happening in, her, in the, the last two flights. But she carries momentum and carries speed over these last two flights. And look at this. She is flat out sprinting uh, when she hits the line. And that's quite hard. Obviously, you've only got to, you know, three, four strides uh, between each hurdle and then uh, five or six towards the, towards the line. But that is 
very, very impressive indeed. Backs up that 12.32 with a 12.38 here. Not a breath of wind either. Um, I was just wondering whether there was even a, a one point something. It actually says minus 0 0.8. Yeah, it's absolutely still here in the stadium. And there we are, a meeting record. What a brilliant performance backing up the early form from Camacho Quinn. And I mentioned the Americans, the likes of Kenny Harrison, will be watching on, I'm sure, with interest from the USA. Thank <laughs> you. 